and motherfucker rats. This is Sketch, and I'm playing Detroit Become Human. This will be my second playthrough, and this is a fucking phenomenal, fantastic game. If you haven't played this, you should. It may not be a game for you, it is very story driven. And if you've ever played a Quantic Dream game, Hold on. you're just a little while longer. Wow. Hold on. Uh, your, just a little your choices while will longer. heavily impact the game. Your characters Hold can actually on. die. Just a little while longer. And it you play through the story without Everything those main characters. So it all it all depends all on your choices. Right. So anyways, if you will be alright. <laughs> this is Chloe. She is the main hostess of the game. Every time you come to the menu, she is here and Every time you load up the game, she also makes commentary depending on what chapter you're on, etc, etc. So, with all that said, let us start a new story of Detroit Become Human. Oh, on a side note, I don't know how delayed the streams are, but my friend, I shall call her Kay, um... It, unless it's like a time choice or a quick time event, which there are those in this game, I'm going to let my friend decide what happens. If a man has not discovered something he will die for, he's not fit to live. That's a quote from Martin Luther King. I thought you'd like it. <laughs> so there's Chloe giving some insightful bullshit. Anyways, enough talking, let's get to it. Yes, place my previous checkpoints. <sighs> what a hell of a week. Just can't wait till this weekend. I can relax. School will be done at least this semester. Alright, I'll shut up. I will try not to talk as much for this playthrough. So, um, I'm just going to give a little commentary here. I am the negotiator, and right now, I am looking for clues. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, there's a fish on the please, ground. Please, you gotta save my little girl! Sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? Yes, no, I am an android. Now, where is the fish? There's the fish. So, friend, shall we save the fish or shall we leave it? See how delayed the stream is. All right, so we shall save the fish. Ooh, it's a pretty fish. All 
right. Now oh, we can look at it too. Where's the fish we saved? I like that there's like a hostage situation. We're taking time to look at all these fucking fish. Anyways, find Captain Allen. Hold R2 to tell your objectives. Captain Allen. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Do you know its name? Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Forty-eight percent chance. Understand what happened and save the hostage at all costs. So, let's find some clues. in yet. Fuck. And with John is, I'm assuming it's the father. Bullet wound. Now keep in mind the entire game is not like this. This is just this part. something. Place this old android model. Oh shit. Oh, Alright. Alright, time to ask friend. Shall we collect more clues or shall we go for the hostage? Straight for the hostage? Alright.
He fucking shot me. Don't come any closer or I'll jump. you and you became upset that's what happened right i thought i was part of the family i thought i mattered but i was just their toy something to throw away when you're done with there's no way out daniel what you've done is too serious the only question is whether or not you take another innocent life it's not up to you I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. You hear me? Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. Should I just say fuck you know, it and let him get shot? I was nothing to them. What should I just do? A slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Okay. I did what you wanted. What am I going to do? I'm your last chance, chance Daniel. If you let it slip, they'll kill you. Let the hostage go. You have no other choice. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Do I compromise or do I refuse? What do I do? It's time, so I'm pausing it. Okay. You'll see as you're playing through this K that your choices do actually have an impact so i'm going to compromise that's impossible daniel let the girl go and i promise you won't be hurt i don't want to die should i reassure him or give him the truth we would have a third option but we didn't investigate the apartment Okay. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. I've spent my life taking orders. Now it's my turn to decide. Wow, this is different than the first time I played. I sacrificed myself and saved the girl. Interesting.
So, okay, I didn't realize I could pause during the timed thing. So I'm going to let my friend make all the decisions aside from the quick time. And again, remember, all your choices have an impact. So now we get to see the entire scene and what happens. So, okay. As you can see from when we started, these are our choices that we made. And so you can see the different choices that you could have chosen. So, this is what you chose. This is how it should be for this playthrough. Let's continue. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Two hundred languages and dialects. And handles the kids' homework at elementary school up to Good university. Wow. Hey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. Very basic model. How much did you say it costs? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a 48 months interest. $7,000. And it comes with a two year warranty for parts and labor. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches to surveillance mode and contacts emergency services if there's a break-in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. I don't like this guy. There it is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Ah, yes, Kara. Oh, this is the intro video. So that kind of gives you a little just of 
What's going on? We're in Detroit in the future. And this is Marcus. Another another one of the three stories. You have Kara, Marcus, and Fuck, I forget the other guy, but this is Marcus. And Kay, if you're still watching, we said plenty of choices to make. Human music. I woke up in my house, alone in my bed. Six AM is screaming. Back to this again. some paint. Excuse me. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 63.99. Please confirm payment. Okay. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. All right, Kay. We're going to have to make some choices coming up here. So be ready with your phone so you can let me know. go towards the protest or head towards actually I don't remember if you what do you want to do Kay should we go towards the protest or head towards the bus stop It's not a bus stop, but uh... Ah! 
Oh, well, I guess I have to go towards the protest. Can. Okay. No kidding. Decision time. Yeah, let's check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Your bitch ass off. Yeah, waste it. Do it! Alright. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. You see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. First, <laughs> the first time I played this, I was like, "What the fuck? All I'm trying to do is get paint for my uh, my master guy." segregated on the bus and shit. But we're androids. We're not supposed to have feelings and shit. All back of the bus and shit. What the fuck? Would you be pissed? I don't know. I'm a robot. I'm not supposed to care. Or have feelings. But we're humans playing as cyborgs. Very interesting. Right. Here's the choices that we made. Take a little gander here. I'm not reading any of the magazines this time, but um, yeah, pretty simple for that chapter. Let's continue. And here we are with Kara again. Uh, I said I wasn't going to give any commentary, but I hate this piece of shit. This guy's an asshole. But I'm gonna leave it up to my friend Kay to decide future actions. You coming? You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Okay. So we have our urgent tasks, which is collect the trash, and then the optional tasks. So, K, 
What shall we do? TV on. And well, it's up to you. I mean, it's not like it's urgent this second. We can do other things. So, we can do the trash, we can do the dishes, vacuum, check the backyard. You want to do the d okay? Go do the dishes. Oh, apparently we missed some on the table. God damn it, Kay. This is really what you chose to do. Washing the fucking dishes. <laughs> it's okay. It's all part of the experience. Keep washing the fucking dishes. Kara! Oh, yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. Alright. Uh, I guess we have to bring the beer. Hockey. What are you oh. looking at? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. Right. So we did the dishes. Now we could vacuum, check the backyard, or collect the trash. Up to you, Kay. What are we going to do now? See what's in the backyard. Where the fuck is it? Oh, to the garden. Okay, this is Detroit in the future. Should we take down the laundry or just leave it? Just the empty overgrown backyard should we take the laundry what shall we do
what are we going to do? Sure. What is sure been? Going to take the laundry or not? We don't have to. I mean, okay. The choice is yours, Kay. Talk to her or not? It's not timed. Make a choice. Game, backyard, weather, or school. Are you going to school today? Next. look bored. Would you like to play a game? Oh, good choice, Kay. You pissed her off. <laughs> All right. Now we have to go to the laundry. Since Kay decided she wanted to do the laundry. So now we have to. Ooh, what's that? I think it's drugs. Okay, what do you want to do next? We can vacuum clean or we can collect the trash. I know it seems very boring right now. But urgent. So, alright, so collect the trash. Catch 
kitchen, clean the counter. Trash. What's that? This guy's fucking up to debt. He's doing drugs. How does he afford a seven thousand plus dollar fucking robot? <laughs> like, really? on the bus. Ugh. Anyways. Let's go back to the shithole. Fuck, man. The little girl. I don't know. This game's up to K. What's gonna happen, so... Obviously, we have to investigate what's going on with Todd. Maybe a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. All right. What do I have to do? Tidy Todd's room, tidy Alice's, and optional clean the bathroom. Remember, bathroom is optional. We don't have to, but we can. Before we continue, I'm going to take a quick break. I will be right back. Okay, hold the fuck on. Be right back.
All right, guys, I am back. Sorry for the wait. I'm just waiting on my friend to get back so we can continue. So in the meantime, I'm waiting on. Oh, and she kept asking why I kept saying K. I guess uh, my friend Kendra. She's watching my stream and she's making the choices. So yes, I'm not going to call her K anymore. Be Kendra. So Kendra, now that you're back, we had the choice to clean the rooms or the bathroom was optional. And she said she wanted us to do the bedrooms. So we will tidy up the room. I think this is Todd's room. What else do we have to tidy? I'm not going to care about reading the magazines this playthrough. There's the bathroom. Bathroom and restroom. Well, Kendra just wants to. Yeah. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Should we look at the book? In the bathroom too, why not? Alright. Should we do this one too, Kendra? Thanks for being tedious. Right. We 
completed the optional task. Now I guess we have to finish off in her bedroom. So she's coloring on the walls. Fresh air in this tweaker house. What are we doing now? Cleaned up. Seems you like reading. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Change camera. Thank you. Jesus. Nope. I guess we have to go back downstairs. Clean upstairs. What did I miss? Did I miss something? How about bathrooms? Not this room. This a magazine. Let's double check. Let's make sure. There's me. Go uh -huh. What did I miss in Todd's room? Should we? Okay. I guess I have to. That's the magazine. What else did I miss?
research yet. All right, Kendra. Factual, friendly, or diplomatic? I'm gonna pause because it's timed. Factual, friendly, or diplomatic? I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your choice. Name Kara, interest, seem quiet, or mother? The choices. So do your name is Kara. You can ask about the interests, seem quiet, or ask about the mother. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Do I say my name is Kara? Seem quiet or ask about the mother? Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? Ask about the mother, seem quiet, or leave alone. Good job, Kendra. Scared off the little girl. Oh, wait. She gave us something. A key to the box. Should we open the box? Or ignore it.
So it looks like he killed the first android. Alright, what do we do now? We have to go see Mr. Asshole again. Alright, Kendra, you're gonna make some quick choices coming up I'm here. You think your dad's a low life? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job? Take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Mind, Kendra. I thought that was going to be like a quick choice thing. So our choices that we made, we missed. Oh, those are just the magazine things. Okay. Let's continue. Now we are back with Mr. Marcus and his paints. of art. What is this? Bony. Is that a fish? No, that's not a fish. What the fuck is that? There it is. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? 
Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the streetcar. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I, can I call wish him. I had a no. fucking lower no. me down the stairs fucking thing. It's awesome. This dining hall. Starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Something over here? Hmm. I would just have the bacon. Although eggs can be good too, I suppose. Thank you, Marcus. Oh, it's still so Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. All right, Kendra. What shall we do? Go back at the kitchen? No, we can't. There's a book. Read a book. Oh. All right. What should we read? Keats, oh, Shakespeare, or Plato? Or fuck it, find something else. The green one. Um, yeah, that's Keats out. Okay. What are you reading? A 
Well, Keats is Odes. It's one of the books he recommended. So, what do you think? Well, there's a lot of sadness in his poems. Hmm. Keats was in love. There's nothing like love to make a man feel more miserable. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. See where he left off. Remove the sheet. This is where you're going to have to make some choices, Kendra. Not this part, but when he asked you to paint. Meantime, let's clean some shit up. What's your verdict, Marcus? So do you like it, don't like it, or you have no opinion on it? It is timed. So that's why I paused it. I'm sorry it's very pixelated. Okay. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. All right, Kendra. Try, try painting something. Now it's your Paint time. What? Painting what? Anything you want. To make some choices. Give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you would like to draw. Find a subject to paint. So you can do his painting. You can do the statue. Or you can do the desk. It's 
So you have the painting, statue, or the desk. Painting? Not done. Painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Okay. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. More choices. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Androids, humanity, or identity? Comfort, empathy, or hope? with was that a oh my God. dinosaur eating a or was a hand crit what hey dad who's this fuck face Leo I didn't hear you come in no, I was in the neighborhood I thought I'd stop by been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No! No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter? More obedient? Not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. 
You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. Mm -hmm. You never loved me. There are the choices we made, and I think this is a good place to call it quits for part one, and tomorrow I shall continue with part two. Thank you for watching, and Kendra, thank you for participating. Have a good night, motherfuckers. I shall catch you on the flip side.